So let's go through the Linksys smart Wi-Fi setup for the AC1900. The first thing you do as soon as you attach the router is you have to connect to the Wi-Fi internet by going to link uh, linksyssmartwifi.com. It'll you open it up in a browser, you won't get any internet until you go through these steps. It'll automatically take you here. So following the instructions, you read and accept the license of the terms of the software. I recommend reading it and downloading it. I've already read it and accept it. And there you go. And it, the next one is I want to skip the setup and configure my manual route, uh, router manually. I, I'll not do that. I'd uh, go through, so I'll go next. And we wait. We wait for the brain to connect or to set the things up that we need to set up. Okay, we have it. That took uh, three to four minutes. So, uh, that's not too bad, so don't feel like it's uncommon. And it's giving the same uh, names to things that it actually has in your manual. So, if you want to change these up, you can do so now. Um, and change it to what you want, or you can change it uh, later on. Um, I'm okay with this, and I will leave it as it is right now, because um, that's good to make a note. Um, I'll just, uh, looks identical, so I'll always take a screenshot, it's kind of a habit of mine. It allows you to set up uh, 2.5 and 5 gigahertz, that's the dual band that you got going on here. Okay, and you can make them the same. No, I will not, because I want one five gigahertz, so I know the difference. I'm gonna click next. Okay. Now, oh, it even look at that. It create a router password. Create a router password that you will use it, and it gave a. It decided to give its own unique password for this, which this is great. And I think I'm going to keep it because that's pretty pretty great. Um, the, it reads the router password can be the same as your wireless network password or something different. Be sure to write the router password in a space provided in the quick start guide. And you'll want to write this down on the back of that uh, pamphlet, the documentation it has. You can write uh, you can write that stuff down. I'm going to just take a screenshot of it so I know, and I'm going to move along. Okay, so here is everything. I'll take another screenshot of this. It says your, your router has been set up successfully. Uh, below are the router settings and write them on the back. The quick, quick start guide that's included in, with your Linksys AC1900. Um, and then you can uh, change things later in the future. Let's see, things to remember. Uh, the smart Wi-Fi includes all the tools to access your router and setting an apps and to enhance your wireless home network. You can access this Linksys smart Wi-Fi on the web at linksysmartwifi.com. You may want to bookmark this page. Well, that's pretty great. Okay. I'm going to go on. And why create a Linksys Smart Wi-Fi account? You know, I think uh, it's totally necessary. You can get access to apps. Uh, you can, uh, you know, set the uh, priority for the different devices in your ha house from Apple TV to iPads to iPhones to other computers all across your house. And you can manage your home network, uh, basically, versus your business one. But um, yeah, So I'm going to say yes. Definitely going to create that account because I'm going to want to use that Wi-Fi app and see what I can do here. Um, Let's uh, pull this up a bit so you can see what I see. I've unfortunately I've cut it off a bit, so I'm going to just bring up this here so that I can scroll the page and you can see that you got to go through it. So this is just telling you man, parental controls, all that other fun stuff. So I'm going to just give it uh, gem web s and hello at gemweb.com. Hello at gemweb.com password will be my password Ooh, uh, uh. and of course you gotta agree to this and I'm gonna want to see other updates and things and special information of Linksys offers now that I'm a valuable fan and I will go create let's see is there an English Canada France Canada Nope, it's, uh, I guess I'll just keep it in the United States, no big deal. And I will click create my account. Check your email. Hopefully, if I got internet. <laughs> and then, um, I guess I'd be able to sign in and uh, change all my settings and stuff like that. So we're going to have to go to, let's hope it connects. Now let's see, let's go to Gmail, because that's where my thing is. And see if 
Oh, it does. Yay. Hi. Okay. And I'm going to go in and I'm going to say, yes, let's see. Oh, look at all that junk of email. Okay. And I will go here and I will verify it. Setup is complete. And then now I can go and I can click to log in here and I can go again. I can give it a shot. Now that's confirmed. And get in. I want to be remembered. Yes, let's see. This time it works and takes us in to the amazing, I would say it's amazing back end for the Lynx and Smart Wi Fi. In the back end here, you can see that, that this device is here. It's connected, it's connected to the internet. To total online devices, you can see it'll tell you how many, how many guests. Uh, guest net uh, is on, both the 5 gigahertz and 2.4 uh, bands are all on. I haven't set up the media prioritization, I haven't set the uh, parental controls, and no external uh, storage setup yet with a USB or anything like that uh, clicked into the two drives on the router. Um, this is amazing. What a dashboard. You can monitor things. It's got, you know, you can go in here to see, you know, the devices that are, you know, connected to it, uh, which are pretty amazing. Um, oh, it minimizes that. You can go through and see what's in your guest access. You can give access to uh, visitors to connect to the wireless network uh, and um, without giving them access to your computers and personal data. So you can, when someone visits your, your house, you can give them a certain amount. You can block certain um, sites, say um, you know things that you don't want kids to go to, or think po or, you know various uh, websites uh, that uh, can um, you know cause viruses on your system. Um, media prioritization, so that's pretty amazing. It's for streaming and uh, whatnot. It looks like oh, I'll have to update my Flash Player, but that's specific to um, the browser, not uh, to the router. I'll set that up later on so you can, you know, streaming, uh, you know, my uh, media servers and stuff like that to my PS3. And I can do a speed test. Let's check this out. And this is Okla, the one I did with Bell and got such poor performance. Let's try a test right now and see what speed test has to say. How many megabits down am I getting? Oh my gosh, look at that. 35.71. That's a big difference from 3 points nothing for Bell. Boo, Bell. Yay. Holy tech savvy, tech savvy, you're rocking it. 9.6 up. This is a whole new game changer. Thank you very much. I'm going to screenshot and this and make all my friends uh, really jealous. I'm going to, yeah, that's what you get, Bell, for giving me poor speeds. Um, you can access external storages here, folder access, all that stuff. I guess let's go into settings and see what's going on here. Connectivity, it, it's telling a bunch of network, network name and passwords. I'm going to have to change this all up. Uh, so before I put this on the web, but uh, I'll do that and set up all those things. Um, uh, looks like uh, troubleshooting router settings to make sure that uh, you know how things are going. Um, you've also got uh, wireless um, router settings here. Everything's laid out really handy. Um, and what's this down here? Security. You can change. You know all the. Oh, that's some serious. All these uh, freaking settings that'll really uh, protect me. That's great. Now, they, this is where I want to go. I want to go to the app place and get the apps. And here, here you go. You can get the apps for your mobile devices, my iPhone. And um, it looks like, uh, what is this? Uh, oh, block the bad stuff. Available at the, for a certain amount of money. Smart Wi-Fi. Uh, it looks like, is it, do you got to actually buy it? Get out of here. Are they going to make me have to pay for an app? I'm curious. Q next. Facebook, oh, these are each different and a different app, and so I'm not sure which one it is that will give me the um, control. Roll over the app to learn what it does. Okay, so maybe I just can't see. Block the bad stuff. What's this? Device monitor, device control. Let's see what's in your network at any point in time. Does that cost 99 cents? Ah, they're making you pay for some of these. So that's interesting. The apps that um, links that, but you know what? The apps are apps are worth it. There's a free one uh, for your Facebook and sharing pictures throughout it. But uh, that one blocked the bad stuff. Share content. These are some things that I'm going to want to get. What's this? Net proof or access control. Uh, let you restrict access to designated websites for devices on your home network. And blackout done either a, a complete. Oh, that's pretty good. Oh, I'm really enjoying this actually. <laughs> okay, well, let's go back to the um, the back end here. There seems to be a lot. There's a there's a help um, area which uh, you can help do to go through all of the things in the back if you need to learn about it, and um, you can go into your account and change your account settings. 
So I'm going to go back here to the main dashboard and just make sure we went through these. But these all exist here, and you just go to smartwifi.com and use the username and password to get in and set up your Linksys and go from there. What an amazing thing. I can't wait to go in and uh, really um, tweak some of these settings, but I'm really impressed with how easy it was to set up. Uh, I hope you'll consider the Linksys AC1900 for your home network because it's uh, so far it's looking like um, really uh, great bang for the buck and to uh, give you that kind of control and security. Uh, at your home. I'm going to do a um, range test next, which um, I did uh, one earlier with Bell to show my iPad around my um, at my house and to see what kind of range this has and if it really does tout the ultimate range prior to adding a range extender to my house. Thank you very much for your time. I hope you enjoyed this video on the Linksys AC1900 dual band smart Wi-Fi router.